So, how are we going to resolve this? I don't know. Anyway, he was a screw-up. He was a victim. He was a fighter. <sighs> what do you even say about the dad? Was he a screw-up, really? I mean, he lost his job a bunch of times. Doesn't make him necessarily a screw-up. He was a victim? I don't know if he was a victim. I mean, yeah, the, the mother died, and that's fucked up that the mother died. He was a fighter? I mean, I guess, but not really, because he gave up on his kids. I don't know if any of these actually fit. Actually. <laughs> I don't know if one of these really fits. I'm definitely not a fighter. I, I guess I'll say screw up. He made a lot of mistakes. He wasn't a good father. I think he came here trying to be better. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. You know, when we were kids, we goofed around to escape. To pretend everything was better for a little while. When I got to Haven, the first thing we did was dance around like total dorks. And it wasn't an escape from anything. He was happy for the first time in his life. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. The thing that I don't so get... Many. Hold on. The one thing that I don't get, and I don't think they're going to explain it. <clears throat> if this happened 12 years ago. Okay? It was Jed's fault. 12 years ago, all these people died in the cave. So Tyvon wants to cover that up. So that they can continue to blast in the area and act like nothing ever happened. Because if it comes out that there was something that was literally their fault. Um, people probably wouldn't want them blasting in the area anymore. Right? But that was 12 years ago. What the hell took them 12 years to try to cover this up? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what are the circumstances here that exactly 12 years later, they decide now we feel like we're going to cover this up? And why did they wait this long to try to blast more in the area? It does. I, I don't know if that's ever going to be explained. It's just so weird. The perfect timing that it just so happens that both Gabe and Alex are in the town where their father died by complete coincidence. And now all this is unfolding while they're there. What took so long? How do you play this game? How to play? Let's try to find out. Okay, now let's continue. Years I just wanted to survive. To get through. Mm. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to belong somewhere. I want to know that there's a place and a group of people who wouldn't be the same without me. I was starting to feel that here. Until you shot me in the face. <clears throat> and you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. What's he doing with his eyes? <laughs> You've forgotten it. Haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a hero. A strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. A few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you couldn't even say those words out loud. 
because you're a coward. Fear. You couldn't imagine saying it to your wife? Saying it in front of your son? Every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye. But you couldn't muster the courage to admit a mistake. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. Yeah. This is like, dude, you, <laughs> you know what this is? She's got the fucking pen and stare from Ghost Rider. She's using pen and stare. Where what, what Ghost Rider would do is he would grab you and look at you and basically make you feel all the things you did fucked up in your life. And because of that, he'd be able to like, like, uh, uh he would kill demons by doing it and stuff like that. She's literally doing a pen and stare on him and making him feel like she's controlling him. He can't even step away, you know? She has the ability to, with this emotional grasp that he can't even do anything to get away. She's the ghostwriter, basically. <laughs> wow. But when you come out the other side <clears throat> and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. But you keep doing it. <laughs> You're trying and to kill someone else. You deny that hatred. The worse it grows. Mm. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. Would I forgive you or I condemn you? The Ghost Rider would condemn. And then what would happen is their eyeballs would burn out and become cinder and they'd be like dead. She would, that's how he kills the demons. But will she be Ghost Rider or will she be merciful? You know they want to say forgive. They want you to forgive, right? <laughs> What's gonna happen? What do I choose? What do I do? I wonder what will happen. She she would forgive or would she condemn? Choose the alpha option. I don't even know what that is. What's the the alpha? <laughs> get on with it. What do you mean get on with it? What are you talking about? I got to make a, a big decision here. The goody two shoes answer is forgive. The badass revenge answer is condemn. But can she live with herself if she condemns? Right. <laughs> oh my god, people are going crazy. If it's about empathy, she'd forget. But would she forgive? Her character indicates she would forgive. How do you know that? She has she doesn't have her own character. Her emotions are not her own, right? That's what we've determined during the course of the game. That she doesn't even have her own emotion. She's just like apathetic and she feels everyone else's emotions, right? Condemn him to play Life is Strange 2. Ah, 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 ah. He's infinite. That's his hell. His personal hell. He has to replay Life is Strange 2 endlessly. It never ends. Okay. Empathy for a person who killed your dad and shot you in the face. And also killed your brother. I condemn! And I condemn you. Oh! Penance there! <laughs> Condemn! <laughs> Condemn. All right. <laughs> Condemn. He actually just found out the Starbucks in the town closed. That's why he's... <laughs> 
No more $8 breakfast sandwiches? <laughs> oh my goodness. I broke Chad Braham Lincoln. <laughs> yes. No more impossible sausage in town. No. To covering up the death of seven Titan employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody, awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Titan CEO, the market impact, huh. and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right. Wow, why would you throw Shoo Shoo like that? That's very rude. Poor Shoo Shoo. Come on. Yeah, the silence is worse. I need to get some air. Condemn. After. Whoa, let's see. Hey, Haven, the Record Traders is currently sending applications. Priority will be shown to applicants with previous retail broadcast experience. Fill an application on our website. <clears throat> is there a sudden opening who left? Nobody yet, but to be honest, I'm kind of eyeing the exits, looking for new adventures. Hello, friends. I decided to open back up the Do commissions. I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. I kind of think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. I think we're all looking for ways to stay busy, and making art has always been my favorite method. Get in touch with me if you want a portrait. I try to keep my rates reasonable. I've got some continued support for you. We at Time and Mining like to express our gratitude towards Haven Springs for your continued support. We issued a statement which is available to read on the website. The phrase, recent events, mm -hmm. is doing some work in this post. Due to recent events, the Black Lantern will remain closed to regular business until further notice. So now they all got laid off. <laughs> An anonymous two dollar dipper says, "I haven't I haven't tuned in in a while. Who's your main in Street Fighter Five, and what days are Feasting with the King? I don't play Street Fighter Five. I never will again. I hate it. Feasting with the King is a show that I only do during special events, and the next special event scheduled is Halloween, so we got a ways to wait for Feasting with the King. So there you go. <clears throat> okay. Uh, a statement regarding the ongoing. Oh." A statement regarding the ongoing investigation in Haven Springs. We appreciate the community's concern. Details are emerging. State Police tapped Deputy Jason Pike to provide assistance in the case. Management of the account has been handed over to another deputy. <clears throat> deputy Pike has come to occupy a special role in the Haven Springs community. We urge you to direct all inquiries through official channels. <clears throat> How could all this happen under your noses? <clears throat> There's no way the cops didn't know. There's something they're not telling us. Follow the money. <laughs> Then you made the Spring Festival a resounding success. Now we have to clean up. <laughs> Gotta open the bar. Sorry, darling. This must have been posted before he got arrested. Yeah. Oh, here was the council vote. Yeah, this is the notice of the council vote. Anyone seen Alex? We agreed to meet up, but then I'm she so got sorry she ghosted. I you all. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and then Jed had posted. Oh, I didn't see her. What a fucking piece of shit. Seriously. Does anyone even know I'm a freelancer of the Rocky Mountain Gazette? I'm writing an Steph article. I she could reword that. But it's pretty funny. We're writing an article about the evening's incredible performance at the Spring Festival. I can't check out the band's name. Hey, man, we're, we're not a band as such. We don't have a name yet. Can I get your names? Kuh. And the flowers. What a lovely Spring Festival. Whoa, okay, look at all this. We got a lot of shit to read. Hold on. Every single person sent you something. Jessica? Who the fuck is Jessica? We're going to story about the Titan controversy. Ty Typhon controversy. I'd love to talk with you. I'm not comfortable talking about it. I'm com your comfort will be my priority. Thank you. So, basically, when she's comfortable, someone, someone wants to have a whole story on this. Right? Mac actually texted her. Chen, didn't think you'd actually take down Typhon. You're braver than I imagined. Now you owe me a new job. I'm glad you're okay. Thanks, Mac. Steph? Uh. You're incredible. I'm here for you no matter what. Call me the minute you need anything. I know. Thank you for having my back. It meant so much. Of course. How could I not after everything? Okay. 
Alex, I'm sorry.